Good morning, everyone. I'm Bill Shires with uh, Stone Age Water Blast Tools. Before we get started, I'd like to uh, thank the WJTA for putting on the event, the show, and these live demos. And also a special thanks to uh, Peter and the Jetstream boys for supplying the high pressure pump for us. So what our exhibit's about here is using new development, new technology to get operators out of using manual water blasting. What, to do that, we're offering here a blast track system. It's an automated surface prep tool. The blast track consists of three primary components. You have the tractor, you have a rotary package here, and then you have a slotted rail. Each one of these exhibits are just showing that we're going to use the modularity of those three different components to attack virtually any large surface area cleaning application. Some of the details about it, it's a very, very simple design. This tractor can be run with either air or hydraulics. We have more than a dozen different rotary type options here, so we can do any pressure, so 10, 15, 20, 40,000 PSI. We can also exchange and use alternate type heads. These exhibits show just three of them. This one's uh, the dual. We have the bar head here on the mini excavator, and on the far end, we have what's called a spider arm, so we can do a different type of pass. We can also do uh, single jets for when we have really thick hard deposits that need to be cutted or cleaned. So, Rollin here has the control panel. We've got it set up with just one air valve, but it's very important to understand that you have in the true field application, you can independently run the speed of the rotation of the bar head as well as the traverse speed of the tractor. So this is a way that you can really optimize your cleaning capabilities. Having that independent control is absolutely critical, especially when you're going to get into the 40,000 PSI. Uh, it's all about increasing those productivity rates. Uh, finally, we have uh, these stops. So these are easily adjustable, no tools required. And as the tractor goes back and forth, you'll see that it automatically indexes back. So let's go ahead and do the rotation for the uh, blast track. So uh, that again, that's the blast track. Um, what you're seeing here in this exhibit is a bundle blaster. So a contractor can take this system and roll it over a heat exchanger like this in the next exhibit. With those rollers, you can clock and index the heat exchanger. You can control the speed of the blast track going back and forth. And again, we can use any pressure or flow. We would use something very similar to this head design here for that application. You want to use higher flow, and you want those jets to be able to go through all the uh, hundreds of tubes there. Some other benefits here. This is easily uh, dismantled. It's a very portable system. So you can move it from side to side within the, the blast pad, but you can also take it apart, put it in your truck, and leave the facility. This is also a, a target price point here. These are $25,000, $30,000 pieces of equipment, so it's a real viable alternative for that point in the market where you don't have the high volume heat exchanger cleaning, which re you know, would require uh, the, the $200,000 investment for the trucks and the robotics. So that's the bundle blaster. The next exhibit here, so again, we're using the same primary components of the blast track. Here, we're using the 40,000 PSI setup. We're now using a bar head, and we can take this and do any number of different attachments. Uh, the contractor can use the equipment that he has already. We can attach this to sky cranes, skid steers, mini excavators. That's a major cost savings there. And all we're doing is we're using designs and supports. All the rest of this is always in stock and, and available. 
It's just taking that mechanical engineering, just to design and attach to whatever implement you have to use. Go ahead, Jeff. So this one really, this is a challenge for your imagination. We need to look at large surface areas, take those shotguns out of the operator's hands, and use technology like this. It's very simple. Uh, we've got applications where we're doing inside of tunnels, uh, where we can do sides of ships. Uh, this can be used vertically, horizontally, upside down. Uh, there's no limits here. All we need to do is just work on our structures to make sure that we can uh, maintain a good standoff distance to the application being cleaned and set it up with the different pressures and flows to get it done efficiently. The next exhibit is our XY frame. So here, uh, many of you folks are familiar with our rigid lancing machines. These supports and these frames are all that same technology. So many of you already have a lot of this equipment. You have the control panels, you have the rails, the support wheels or stands. And now we're taking that blast track and we're putting it in an XY frame. So the XY is a reference to the axis that we're going to clean. So this blast track, will again, will go back and forth automatically. And then the operator can also adjust it up and down. So we make these frames to fit any size. We've done very large ones up to uh, 20, 30 feet square. Typically, they were being used uh, horizontally. We also have blast tracks that allow an articulation here. So you can get, we were doing uh, rows and rows of tubes, and you can pivot on this point and steer it. So that allows you to get your jet angles to clean all surfaces of those tubes. And so we're going to go ahead and turn this one on, and we're going to run high pressure water too. Great. Thanks, Peter. So I want you to uh, think about your applications and plants. Think about large surface areas. Challenge yourselves. Challenge us. Uh, we have a division, Stone Age Automated Solutions, engineers. What we're working on is taking this and applying it to those difficult challenges. So work with our team, and we're happy to uh, design and ad adapt the blast tracks to your surface preparation needs. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show, folks.